Hello, and welcome to TMC's how-to demo series for Dynamics 365 Business Central, where we explore the features of Business Central for basic tasks within your organization. If you can't find the demo you're looking for, let us know in the comments below, and we'll try to make it happen. Today, we're going to begin with basic jobs in Dynamics 365 BC. In part one of this jobs video, we'll cover the basic components of the jobs module. My name is John Hoyt, Solutions Specialist for TMC. Let's get started. In this video, we'll begin with the basics in the jobs module. The resources, both people and machine, the jobs themselves, and the job tasks and the planning lines that make up those tasks. Well, let's see how this works. I'm logged into my Business Central system in the Project Manager role, so I have direct access to the Resources dropdown, and I'll navigate to my list of resources. Here you can see the summarized list of the different resources that have been set up in the system. And you can see in the type column, I have a combination of both person and machine. Let's take a look at the details for Linda. In the general section, name information, the type of resource, basic unit of measure, who's the approver for that individual in terms of timesheet entry. And we'll cover timesheets and timesheet entry in part two of this video. In the invoicing section, I can specify both the direct and indirect costs associated with Linda, her billing rate, and the basics for the posting as I go through transactions for her. And then finally in the bottom, because this is a person, I have personal data as well, address information, I can cover social security, things like that if I need to. Now, the machines are similar, but they don't, of course, have any of that personal information. But I will assign their base unit of measure, um, no timesheets needed for a machine, of course. But the invoicing details are just the same. Direct and indirect costs for a calculated final unit cost. And then a unit price with a calculated percentage profit, the posting information, et cetera. Now, with the resources established, I'm ready to start building jobs. I'll navigate to the jobs list itself, and we'll pull up our first job here, a custom oak flooring job. In this case, we're simply going to create the oak flooring. We're not going to be doing any of the installation. The general information will tell me things like the job number, who's the bill to customer, what address should I be working with, Who's the internal person responsible for this particular job? And if it's part of a larger group of jobs, all under one project manager, I can specify who that project manager will be as well. The next section down takes me into the actual job task lines. In this case, we have five different tasks associated with the creation of this wood flooring. I'll first need to source the raw wood and then rough cut, mill cut, size the milled wood, and do my final finish. For each one of those job tasks, I have associated start and end dates, I have budgeted amounts, and where appropriate, I have the billable amounts as well. Now, to go a little further into the details here, what I can do is highlight one of my jobs and say I want to go into the line there and I want to talk about the job in greater detail. I do that with what we call the job planning lines. This is where I can start to make the association between either a machine or a human who's going to be working on this particular line inside my overall job. I can have simply budget lines only used for planning purposes, or other lines might be both budget and billable, where at the completion of this task, I'm going to bill or invoice my customer to represent either the materials consumed, the resource and the labor that was associated with it, or I'm going to be talking about billing for the machine time. I'll navigate back to my job itself, 
And then down the bottom, of course, the summarized information in process, what's the posting status, how much has been completed, what's been invoiced, and other statistical information in terms of work in process and revenue recognition. Again, all grayed out here because they're going to be system controlled. Okay, so in this video, we've looked through the basic components of the jobs module itself. The resources, both people and machines, the jobs, and the task lines within those jobs. In part two of this video, we'll walk through the steps of the job itself. That wraps up this video. If you have any questions or would like to make a suggestion on what we should cover in the next video, please comment down below. I'll do my best to answer your comments, and if you need any immediate technical support, I invite you to visit our website, www.abouttmc.com. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.